For many male to female MTF, individuals, face contouring is a transformative tool that enhances feminine features, boosts confidence, and helps in self-expression. Achieving a more feminine appearance often involves altering the visual structure of the face through makeup. With the right contouring techniques, you can soften traditionally masculine features and create a more delicate and feminine look. This guide will cover everything you need to know about MTF face contouring, from selecting the right products to mastering essential techniques. Before diving into the actual techniques, it's crucial to understand the differences in male and female facial anatomy. The masculine face typically has a more pronounced jawline, a broader forehead, and thicker eyebrows. Cheekbones may appear flatter, while noses are often more prominent. On the other hand, feminine faces tend to have softer, more rounded features with a narrower jawline, higher cheekbones, and a smaller, delicate nose. The goal of MTF face contouring is to minimize the prominence of masculine traits while accentuating softer, more feminine features. This involves strategic application of contouring products to reshape areas like the jawline, nose, cheekbones, and forehead. One of the most noticeable differences between male and female faces is the jawline. A sharp, square jawline is considered masculine, while a softer, rounded jawline is associated with femininity. To soften the jawline apply a contour shade slightly darker than your skin tone along the jawline, starting from the ear and working toward the chin. Blend upward into the lower half of your face to create a natural shadow, making the jaw appear less prominent. Use a highlighter just above the jawline to add dimension and bring focus away from the area. High, defined cheekbones are a hallmark of feminine beauty. Start by applying a contour product beneath the cheekbones, in the hollows of your cheeks. Blend upward toward the temples. Follow up with a highlighter on the tops of the cheekbones to create a lifted effect. For a more dramatic look, you can also add blush between the contour and highlight to create a seamless transition of colors. A wide or prominent nose can be softened through contouring to create a more delicate, feminine appearance. Apply contour along the sides of the nose, starting at the eyebrows and working down to the tip. Make sure to blend well to avoid harsh lines. Add a highlighter down the center of the nose to create the illusion of a narrower bridge. To further slim the nose, you can apply a small amount of contour just beneath the tip. A larger or higher forehead is often seen as a masculine trait. You can contour your forehead to make it appear smaller and more balanced. Apply contour along the hairline and blend downward. This creates a shadow that makes the forehead look smaller. You can also highlight the center of the forehead to bring attention to the middle of the face and away from the forehead's edges. Eyes are often a key focal point in achieving a feminine look. The goal is to open up the eyes and create a more rounded, almond shape. Apply a light eyeshadow shade on the eyelid and a darker shade in the crease to create depth. Use eyeliner to enhance the upper lash line, focusing on a slight winged effect to elongate the eyes. Highlight the inner corners of the eyes and beneath the brow bone to create a wide, open look. Choosing the right contouring products is vital for achieving a flawless look, and your skin type plays a significant role in determining which products will work best for you. If you have oily skin, you may prefer powder contour products that help control shine and reduce the risk of your makeup sliding off. On the other hand, dry skin benefits from cream-based contours, which provide hydration and prevent your skin from looking flaky. For those with combination skin, a mix of cream and powder products may work best, with cream contours applied to drier areas and powders to control oil in more oily areas. Choosing the right products based on your skin type ensures that your contour will last all day and look natural. When it comes to choosing your contouring products, the market is full of options, but not all are ideal for MTF contouring. Here are a few essential products to consider. Both creams and powders can be used to contour, but creams tend to blend more easily and look more natural, especially for everyday wear. Powders, on the other hand, offer a more dramatic effect and are perfect for photos or special occasions. To create a smooth base for your contour, it's important to start with the right foundation and concealer. 
Choose products that match your skin tone for the foundation and go a shade lighter for concealer to highlight certain areas. Highlighters add dimension to your face and bring attention to areas like your cheekbones, nose, and forehead. You can choose between powder or cream highlighters depending on your skin type and desired look. Before applying any makeup, it's important to prepare your skin properly to ensure a smooth, long-lasting finish. A good skincare routine is essential for maintaining healthy skin, especially if you wear makeup regularly. Start by cleansing your face to remove dirt and oil, followed by applying a moisturizer suited to your skin type. For oily skin, choose an oil-free moisturizer that won't clog your pores, and for dry skin, opt for a hydrating moisturizer. You can also use a primer to create a smooth surface for your makeup, helping it to last longer and look flawless throughout the day. Blending is crucial when it comes to contouring, as harsh lines can make your makeup look unnatural. For dry skin, cream contours are easier to blend and won't emphasize dry patches. Use a damp makeup sponge to gently blend the contour into your skin for a seamless finish. If you have oily skin, you may find that powders work best but ensure that you blend them well with a soft brush to avoid cakiness. Combination skin types can experiment with both creams and powders, using cream contours on drier areas and powders in oilier zones. To achieve the best contour, selecting the right contour product is essential. Look for products specifically designed for contouring, as they often offer better pigmentation and blending ability. Highlighters are an essential part of creating dimension in your face. For MTF individuals, a highlighter can bring attention to the cheekbones, nose, and brow bone. Having the right tools is just as important as using the right products. Invest in a good set of makeup brushes, specifically a contour brush for applying and blending your contour, and a highlighter brush for precise highlighting. Makeup sponges are also great for blending cream products into the skin for a natural finish. Contouring is an art, and like any skill, it requires practice. Don't be discouraged if you don't achieve perfect results right away. Experiment with different techniques, products, and looks until you find what works best for your face shape. Adjust your contouring technique based on the occasion. For day-to-day -day wear, you may want a more natural, subtle contour. For evening events or photo shoots, you can go for a more dramatic contour to really define your features. Some common mistakes to avoid include using the wrong shade of contour, too dark or too light, not blending properly, and applying too much product. Remember, less is often more, and you can always build up the intensity gradually. MTF face contouring is a powerful technique that can help you achieve the feminine appearance you desire. By understanding the differences in facial structure, selecting the right products for your skin type, and practicing the top contouring techniques, you can create a look that is both natural and transformative. Whether you're just starting your journey or looking to refine your skills, contouring is an essential part of MTF makeup that can significantly enhance your confidence and self-expression. So grab your makeup tools and get started on your contouring journey today. Finally, we would like to express our gratitude for watching till the end. We hope you found the video valuable and informative. If so, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and leaving us a comment below. We are eager to hear from you. In the end, we have a humble request to you. We are trying hard to keep you enlightened and empowered by creating awesome videos like this. Please support us by joining our membership program. The link is in the description. Your little contribution will inspire us to make more awesome content for you like this. The next video will be published tomorrow, so don't miss it. Till then, take care. More wisdom, more solutions, better life.